everybody, Ellie Diecast, and we're going to try and get some videos done here because, well, things are just a little, a little backed up around the old studio right now, and I barely have enough room to move here. So this is going to be uh, the unscripted video, which I'm sure most of you won't even, you won't even be able to tell that it's unscripted. So um we need to get some some of these cars stored and put away instead of on my table so we've got some nascar cars or cars that are close to nascar cars here they're kind of all jumbled together these all came in a little small lot that uh oh we got probably about six months ago i don't even remember where these came from and they've been sitting here waiting to be researched a bit and i'm deciding that we're just not gonna we're not gonna research them so we're gonna get them here in the video real quick some of these are really nice um you know like that one look at the look at the tampa work on some of these they're really pretty pretty slick um this is a what is this a thunder thunder birder thunder burner thunder burner I think that's a thunder burner a hot wheel symbol on it this one's a what is this guy is he camaro chevelle what is that i'm not sure the unscripted mumble of uncertainty going on in the background there there's another one this one's really nice look it's got the the big man oh yeah kool-aid didn't know kool-aid was a stock car racer early in his career big kool-aid guy until he got too big couldn't fit in the car anymore so that's his old car whoops sorry smashing up my stuff another one all blue i'm not sure if that was the theme here <laughs> this one is pretty sweet it's got a a little bit of a bent front wheel otherwise that guy would be really cool what's this huff huffman huffman racing huffman racing let's get him huffman on solid ground there there we go this is the big diorama by the way this diorama was made so that I could use about four different sections of it. And uh, when we're done here with these little slot cars, I'll show you the whole diorama. It um, originally was meant to work with a green screen, but as things would go, we, uh, oops, I made it too big. Usually I make them too small and I made this one too big. Look at it, we have to go all the way up that mountain all the way up until you get back there to the green screen so made it too darn big and if i zoom back here i'll show you the whole thing if i zoom back here way back way back yeah look you could use green screen on it but uh can't see the car Eh, funny how that works out huh <laughs> so oh well <laughs> so we use it without the green screen which i know some of you that's fine but some of you like the green screen some of you don't for me, it's kind of an exercise in digital software. It entertains me. <laughs> and you know, you gotta entertain yourself if you're doing this stuff. I mean, we are playing with cars here. Some of you, some of you folks just take this way too seriously. <laughs> so uh, next up are a few little kind of extra castings. These guys were sitting around because when we did shoot on green screen, the car would disappear. If you don't know what a green screen does, it removes the color green or a certain color green and replaces an image with it. You see this all the time in uh, films. And uh, this guy is the, I should know these names. Uh, who knows? We, we talked about this guy in one of the videos. He was green. He was going to disappear. This one is Muscle Tone. Muscle Tone we've seen before. Great track car. Here's another one of the mystery cars. This one, Dino Hunt. We didn't get to Dino Hunt because that green is exactly the green that's going to drop out when you're using um, green screen. So all it would be was this invisible car with some wheels sitting on top of it, which is kind of fun, but uh, not exactly what we were after. This one is, um, what's his name? Is that Synchro or 
Uh, that is, uh, wait, it'll come to me. Oh, it's a Pontiac Banshee. That wasn't even close. That's a real car. Real concept car. I don't think it was really those colors. But it was a real concept car. <laughs> Pontiac Banshee. Larry Wood designed, designed the uh, casting for that Banshee. I remember that. I do remember that. Okay, some more cars. We got some more green cars. We had a lot of green cars laying around because they... They drop out in the um, in the green screen. This guy, what was this guy? He's a real car too. He's a uh, he's a mystery car. We don't remember what he's called. He was a real car, and um, so was this one. Except I'm pretty sure this one didn't didn't advertise Monkey Ball. <laughs> I don't think Monkey Ball was around when that guy came out. Love the Monkey Ball though. Gotta love that Monkey Ball. This one's a McDonald's car. Green McDonald's car. Color changer. What is this? A little Fiero? Is this a Fiero? I think that's a Fiero. A little color changer. He's yellow. He's showing up white there. Let's get a here, let's get a better color of him. I'll get you a better color. Eh, maybe we won't get a better color. There, that's a little better. This one's a uh, Olds. It's a real car. It's an Olds. Wait, it's an Olds. It is an Olds Aurora. It's an old Aurora. Eh, if I just talk to myself long enough, all these things come to me. This is a Panoz, Panaz, Panoise. Another real car. We get a lot of that particular one in here. Older car. There you go. That one looks like it belongs in the uh, scene there. That one looks like it could belong. Most of these cars aren't going to go anywhere near that kind of that kind of thing. Especially this guy. You ain't going to see a street dragster like that anywhere near that landscape. So <laughs> that's a what a comp street comp street dragster. I think that's what that is. Yeah, super comp dragster. Yeah, super comp dragster. Here's another. Is this this isn't a Panaz. This is a this isn't a Panaz. That's a CLK, CLM, CLK, CLK, CLK. A red CLK Mercedes, real car. There's another Panaz. Is this the same one? Nope, different one. There you go. A little white Panaz. A little silver one. Just going out into the, out into the desert, rolling around, messing up there. The frames. <laughs> this guy's got tape on the bottom of him. I'm gonna get my tape off. What is this guy? He's a Ferrari, I think. This guy's dirty. Just noticed that. Oops. This guy needs uh, some cleaning. So that is going to do it for the kind of extra extras here. The extra little goodies. Um, I, I keep saying it, and I'm going to get to the video. Don't worry. I will get to the video, but we do have a new website. It's kind of the old website, but in a new place. So now we're on the web, and we have, like, SSL certificates, and we can do MasterCard, and you can just shop like going to 7-Eleven, and that's at L, L... No, it's not. It's at www.diecast, all one word, and uh, dot com. And you can go there. You can shop around. Yeah, we're still cleaning the place up. I only get a couple hours a week to work on it. So we're still cleaning the place up, but you can go there and look around. You can sign up for our newsletter there if you want. We are going to be sending out some coupons to buy some stuff with. So jump on the newsletter. If nothing else, you just go to that site. Jump on the front page. You'll see a little link for the newsletter. It links back over to Facebook. So if that's what you want to do, you can jump back and forth. And if you just don't even know anything about the web, you just type that into your little browser, you hit go, and off you go, and you'll you'll be able to buy masks or stencils or whatever you want from the store there. So uh, we're going to get going. That at least cleans up my table a little bit, and we will be back in the next video. See you then.